Elvira's tonight. I'm reading the Hold the Elevator, please, chapter six. And and so here we go. Chapter six. Stella and I were riding the elevator, playing our favorite game. Guess which floor we made it up? Of course. And the directions were very simple. We rode up and down, up and down, guessing at the elevator's next stop that day. I was winning three dash one. Three to one. The first person to f five would win. Why do you think no one looks anyone else directly in the eyes or starts up a conversation when they got an, an elevator? I asked randomly. Stella thought for a second. What? About when someone gets on the elevator. What? I mean, wants to go to the second floor and even though through though though that button is already pushed and. Lit up, they pushed it again in New in New York City. I rode an elevator that had a TV in it. Everyone just, uh, everyone was just st staring at it, like someone was going to announce winning lottery. Numbers or something? Everyone just ignore each other. I think it didn't be funny if we did some goofy stuff and someone when someone gets on the elevator. I said to Stella. Listen, the next person the, that gets on, we should both stand right next to them. Yeah. Yee. She yeah. laughed. Yeah. Yeah. She laughed. Or we could bring a cooler with us and write human. He. Head. Head on the side. Okay, okay. I said, laughing. What if when they get on the elevator, we started talking to an imaginary friend, and they, and then we can ask the person to say hello to our friend if they do well ask them who they're talking to Stella and I were cracking up when the elevator suddenly began to move he, we held our breath until it reached its destination. Yes, I shouted with glee. Third floor, it's four to one. An older gentleman entered, pushed the button, already lit lobby button, and returned to his newspaper. 
We were we invisible Stella and I looked at each other in silence and they went along for the ride. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.